Botox injection into the penis for penile enlargement? Last week a rumor went viral on the internet. Did Cristiano Ronaldo get Botox injections to enhance his girth? According to press releases worldwide, a gain of 2 to 3 centimeters can be expected. That's around 1 inch. In this video, I will give you the latest update on Botox for penile enlargement purposes. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist and sexologist and I'm happy to share with you my professional knowledge in urology and sexology. When talking Botox to my patients, I very often realize how few actually have heard of it, despite it being all over the media for years. So what is Botox anyway and what is the rationale to use it on the penis for penile enlargement? Botulinum toxin mostly known as Botox, is a poison produced by a bacterium called Clostridium botulinum. But it is not only a poison, it's the mother of all poisons. In fact, the most poisonous of all known poisons. One gram of that stuff, that's 0.04 ounces, is sufficient to kill one million people. Yet, it has been used for medical purposes on humans since the 80s. Poisoning with Botox leads to paralysis, eventually spreading to the respiratory muscles, resulting in death by suffocation. It's that paralysis thing, which is used for medical treatment. You inject it into wrinkles in the face, the muscles get paralyzed, the wrinkles disappear. In urology, we use it in the bladder wall with bladder muscle overactivity. The bladder muscle gets paralyzed, urinary urgency and incontinence disappear. So what happens if it is injected into the penis? If you've never watched your channel before, I recommend that you have a look at the videos on my channel. There you will find all kinds of interesting topics on urology and the penis, including anatomy. And if you don't want to miss out on any new content, please subscribe, hit your like and activate the bell. As you might recall, the corpora of the penis consists of smooth muscle. So, in theory, injection of Botox into these muscles will result in paralysis. Paralysis goes along with complete relaxation. So the penis will appear longer and thicker because it is very relaxed. This much for theory. But is there any documentation on this, more than just claims on the internet? A very recent paper looked at 176 men in a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled fashion, in other words, a scientific study of the highest quality. Additionally, the follow-up period of six months was quite long. One detail of that study was penile measurement. They measured penile girth and stretched length before the procedure and during follow-up. If you are not familiar with stretched penile length, I recommend you watch the videos on this playlist. Stretched penile length was 12 cm median in both intervention groups and 11.5 cm median in the placebo group. Please have a look to my right. The numbers in brackets are the measures converted into inches. Let me also show you the range they measured for each group, maximum to minimum. The numbers and brackets are inches. Median girth was 8.5 cm in all groups. After six months, the median stretched length had increased significantly in the group with a higher dose of Botox. It increased from 12 cm to 13 cm. In the group with a lower dose of Botox, the increase was less. 12 cm to 12.5 cm and in the placebo group nothing changed 11.5 cm and what happened to penile girth we can keep that piece of information short nothing nada nix however in my opinion this study has very promising results as the main purpose was the use of botox for erectile dysfunction but this is another video nothing i will talk about right now I also want to mention a small pilot study on 10 men, which is a little older. They received Botox injections for inhibiting penile retraction. You know, when it gets cold or you are stressed out, the penis has a tendency to retract and appear shorter. In this small study, out of 10 men, 
seven reported success in terms of more flaccid length and less retraction. So this is the data I found. It is hard to say whether Bodox has any effect on girth. I mean, theoretically it should, but this is a very new field of application, so future studies will show more details of the efficacy. Based on the information at hand, injecting Bodox seems to improve penile length significantly, but not girth. Many of you will be asking now, for how long? This remains unclear. In other areas of application, Bodox usually wears off after three to six months, so it is likely that it will have to be repeated every few months. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.